Yay, here we are. How are you guys doing? As you're jumping on, say hello. Let me know that you're there. Wanted to come on and do a quick little tip. Let me share this as you guys pop on. La 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 la. There we go. All right. For those of you that don't know, I'm Amanda, uh, your intuitive nutrition and energy coach. I help you explore the energy of your health potential by eating intuitively, eating for energy, and exploring the spiritual and emotional sides of nourishment. So that's what I do. And if you have been following me for any length of time, you've been following my travels, you will know that I am in Ohio right now visiting family. It's a little chilly. And I've been um, prompted to come on and talk a little bit about like meal prep and things that happen when, um, when, when there's several of you trying to eat in one home, right? So I, um, so I, I'm visiting family. I'm here at my parents. My baby sister uh, lives with my parents, with her four-year-old. So when I visit, it is a full house. <laughs> uh, uh, it is a full house. So um, something happened the other day and I was like, this is a teachable moment. So I wanted to come on and talk about it. <clears throat> so, we've, um, if you, if, if you've heard me, like if you've seen some of my recipes, you know I'm a big quinoa fan. My sister knows I'm a big quinoa fan. So she's out the other day doing her grocery shopping and she sees quinoa on the shelf and she's like, oh, Amanda, Amanda's healthy, quinoa's healthy. She loves uh, healthy stuff. She loves quinoa. She grabs me a box of quinoa. Cool. Like, and I totally appreciated it. I was like, that is so cool. My sister um, brought home quinoa for me. Like, how sweet is she, right? So A for effort, intention totally there, and I really appreciated it. But I want to talk for a second about taking a moment to read labels, okay? So this is what she got me, quinoa blend. It says quinoa big, blend kind of smaller there. A blend of quinoa and brown rice. So cool, I like brown rice too. And then it says garlic and basil over here. So it is um, flavored with garlic and basil. Okay, cool. I like garlic, I like basil, I like brown rice, I like quinoa. But let's actually look on the box at what's back here in the ingredients. So, first ingredient. Quin I'm going to read this to you. That's what I'm doing. Quinoa. Pre-cooked, parboiled, long-grain brown rice. Maltodextrin, which is a food additive uh, usually used to sweeten food. Not natural. Palm and or soybean oil, salt, sugar, roasted garlic, onion, lactose. Ah, why we gotta leave out our lactose intolerant folks and our dairy free folks. Basil, um, <clears throat> yeast extract, natural flavors, asterisk, natural flavors has the term natural and natural flavors has no regulation around it. So when you see natural flavors, anything could be in there. Sodium cassinate from milk, black pepper, potassium phosphate contains milk. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ingredients. That's 16 ingredients in this box of quinoa and brown rice, prepackaged quinoa brown rice that's garlic and basil flavored. Okay, 16 ingredients. So my suggestion here to not take in the most Hey, hi Nicole, how are you? Good to see you. We're just talking about quinoa. <laughs> um, I'm so glad I can see the comments. Sometimes I can't, sometimes I have to like run back and forth between my computer and my phone. Um, but yeah, my sweet sister brought me back, you know, with very well intended, brought uh, quinoa and brown rice blend back for me. And I just thought it was a teachable moment. So. Um, the back, if we turn to the back, there's 16 ingredients here and some of them are chemical additives and things that aren't so great or even necessary. Not great for us, but not even necessary. So my suggestion 
if I wanted a quinoa and brown rice blend with garlic and basil is to simply actually get, this is how I buy my quinoa usually. Well, this is something I'm working on with my mother is less plastic, but in the bulk section, you can get your organic quinoa. Um, and it's worth noting that there, there is organic boxed quinoa out there that is just quinoa. So you can turn to the back of the ingredients and it'll say quinoa only. It won't be flavored, it won't be mixed with rice, and that's perfectly fine if it's easier for you to get in a box. I find it easy to just grab from the bulk section. And I make this, if I wanna mix brown rice with it, I would make brown rice. And then just get some garlic and basil, chop, 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 quick, 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 and, and cook the quinoa with the flavors that you, that you want. Real simple, real easy. Um, Hey Bristol, yeah, you can take your own ball jar into the store. Bristol's asking how to avoid plastic bags like from the bulk section. You can take your own like ball jar or something like that. Um, they'll still need to weigh it. Like they'll still need to weigh it, but you can, it's reusable for them. And we're just talking about how to avoid 16 ingredients. That was four ingredients instead of 16, right? Actual garlic, actual basil, um, brown rice, organic brown rice, and organic quinoa. So that keeps a lot of these chemicals and a lot of these additives uh, and different things out of your system uh, and your system that much cleaner from not having to uh, process these processed foods. So that was like a totable, totally teachable moment for me. Um, if you just get the the quinoa itself. And actually, I usually just cook this very pure, maybe a little bit of sea salt in it, because whatever I'm making to go with it usually has a whole lot of flavor in it. So that is, um, you know, like my sweet potatoes. If you, you guys know I'm all about sweet potatoes. So my sweet potatoes usually has like turmeric and curry on it. So that has a lot of flavor in it. And if I put it on top of the quinoa, then the quinoa absorbs that flavor. Um, or if I'm making like a veggie stir fry or, or like a coconut curry or something, veggie coconut curry, the quinoa then or the brown rice kind of absorbs all of that, um, all that flavor. So I don't really need to put, that's why I just make quinoa pretty pure without flavor in it and then whatever I'm adding to it. And this goes hand in hand with our meal planning we've been talking about because I'll make like a big batch of quinoa maybe twice a week, use it for like three days where I just, you know, add something add something to it. It's one of those things that it's easy um, to just saute up some vegetables, add to your quinoa that you made, like your leftover quinoa, and then you have a meal all ready. Let's see what you guys are saying. Wow, that's a real opener, like eye opener, I think you mean, Nicole. Yeah, totally. You don't realize until you start reading labels how much can be in these sort of pre-prepped things. So, yeah, real eye opener, I see. Um, I, see what you're, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you don't realize, and you don't, well, those other 12 out of the 16 ingredients, we don't need those. Like, that's extra stuff our body and our liver has to process that we don't really need. So as you guys are jumping on, say hi. I'm just talking about ways to detox through actually label reading and being, um, being aware of what's in our food. So a lot of times you'll see folks teach to look at, you know, look at this part of the label. I actually, that is, I don't, I don't often look at that part of the label. And if I need to, it's after looking at the ingredient list. Another thing about the ingredient list is they are listed in order of what is the most, like what is on there the most. Quinoa first, um, the pre-cooked brown rice second, so in order of what's most to least. Bristol says, I've missed your guidance. Oh, I've missed you guys too. I'm happy to be back. As I shared in my video, go, go back and watch my video from yesterday if you haven't seen it. Um, I shared a little bit about my own healing journey and why I've been so quiet the past few months. Um, but I'm happy to be back too. I've missed you guys too. And I'm happy to, um, I shared at the beginning, I'm visiting family right now in Ohio. <clears throat> it is cold for my little 
my thin Florida blood and I have had um, my friends and family basically had like a little mini clothing drive to clothe Amanda because I own one sweater. <laughs> so thanks Heather, thanks Susanna. <laughs> Natasha, hi, how are you? How's it going? So does that make sense with the quinoa, you guys? With reading labels and why that would help detox your insides. Oops, I had a pop-up. Oh, I hope it didn't. There we go. We're back, I think. Um, it helps detox your insides because you're not taking in. Oh. Far out, but Get back there. <laughs> Videos 101 with Amanda. Okay, why if you're not taking in the toxifying ingredients in the first place, then um, it's going to be easier for your body to process. It's literally just the garlic, basil, quinoa, and brown rice. The other thing that's been happening um, here as we're a full house, as I'm visiting my sweet parents, sister, and nephew is um the the like miscues and the miscommunications nicole says that was a pretty view yeah my parents have this nice um front yard with trees it's really good for getting grounded um it's gorgeous and there uh, there's a lot of deer uh if you guys have been seeing i've been posting like the little deer videos that sh 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 they they like to sleep under the trees and i think they may have even given birth down by the ravine out there um, last year, not this year, not this season. <laughs> um, but another thing that's been happening as far as meal planning goes and like miscues and miscommunications that just happen when you're a busy family and you're all trying to eat and feed each other and everything else is um, like when you go grocery shopping. So, so um, my sister and my mom will both come home with a huge bag of apples and a huge bag of avocados or something. Um, so, so we have, like yesterday, we had like 10 avocados, so we made guacamole, you know, you, 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 um, you roll with it, like we found things to do with all of this, but if we take food inventory and communicate with our loved ones and actually make grocery lists, don't head out to the grocery store without knowing what recipes you're going to cook that week it makes it a lot easier you're not trying to make some sort of order or semblance out of what you bought you're going there with the purpose of the botna so that's a page out of um it's a page out of my meal prep magic plan which uh program which is on sale now and the label reading is straight out of my sugar release program and i'll talk more about those two in a second Paul, what's up? Hi, Amanda. I had an amazing quinoa chili in the pub on Monday. They use sweet potato, too. Oh, that's so cool. I love that the pubs are now serving chili that has sweet potato and quinoa in it. Those are like my, two of my favorite things to eat. Um, very true, says Bristol. Awesome. <clears throat> How cold? Is it warming up in Newcastle, Paul? It's still pretty, well, it's warming up here, actually. So in Ohio, it had been like single digits, even negative, I'm talking Fahrenheit, um, even negative temps for a, for a while, for like three weeks straight. And now we're in the 30s, which is like a heat wave, and we're supposed to get in the 50s tomorrow. So woohoo to that. Bristol says very true. Okay, so to recap, Check the labels, especially when you see, like, you know, and I do want to say, you know, as I always do, progress, not perfection. So I really appreciated that my sister, who doesn't really eat quinoa, um, grabbed this off the shelf for me. You know, like her intent, she was very well intended. And, um, and, and so progress, not perfection. If you're someone who's still eating, who's maybe like just trying to get off of white pasta, then this might be a good step down for you, right? This might be a good step to getting to here. So I owe some progress, like something is better than nothing, right? So I'm not going to poo-poo uh, that, but I do want you guys to be aware, always be aware, always ask questions, question everything of what's in your food here. 
and the less kind of food additives and things you take in, the easier your body is going to do everything that it's meant to do. And then the body affects the mind, affects the spirit, affects the emotions. Four degrees Celsius today. That sounds cold, but Celsius. That still sounds kind of cold. <laughs> Um, so we talk a lot about, we do a really in-depth label reading in my, um, in my sugar release program and re the releasing sugar experiment. We go more into all of the pseudonyms for sugars and fake sugars and food additives and fake stuff, um, in that program because it's hidden in everything, especially in the American food system. There's sugar, there's fructose, there's high fructose corn syrup hidden in a lot of things. So that's just one module out of the entire releasing sugar experiment. Releasing sugar experiment is 30 days to releasing sugar addiction and kicking candida to the curb. Um, it helps eliminate like those incessant out of control sugar and bread cravings. We increase our energy uh, over, over the course of the whole day and it's a great way to lose weight if you're ready to lose it. Um, reducing brain fog, something that once I released sugar and bread and things like that didn't realize how uh, much mental clarity was possible for me until I started having it you know you kind of see the world in HD so just greater empowerment with yourself um, and and your life when it doesn't have that kind of control over you so feel better than you ever realized was possible it's a different approach than most out there because it's not this I'm teaching you guys how to fish. I never hand you a list of do's and do nots. Uh, there's plenty of programs out there like that. Um, and those can be, again, good step downs to learning to eat intuitively. But I'm really laying out the steps for you guys to take those steps yourself and learn to do it yourself. So this is not only doing that in the physical, it's also doing that with the mental. You are retraining your neural pathways. Um, it, to celebrate progress and not to think about what you can't have, but what you can. So that's how that works. Uh, the sugar release, you get a short, implementable, like video lesson uh, every other day for 30 days. The meal plan, meal prep magic. So we talked about label reading with sugar release. Meal prep magic with being on the same page with your loved ones and um, taking your food inventory and actually making what I call a dynamic grocery list and a staple grocery list. So I have my staple grocery list and the things that I eat the same every single week, uh, the things I know I'm gonna need every single week, and I have a dynamic grocery list, right, that changes. And really, you guys, I only plan maybe two, this depends, obviously, if I'm with, like, with loved ones and it's a full house right now, I might be doing a little more. Or if I'm with myself, or if you're just with a partner, like one or two of you, you know, it's going to it's gonna vary. But I might only plan two or three sit-down dinners, um, and, and then I make use of leftovers in really creative ways. And, um, and lunches and breakfasts, breakfasts <laughs> are really simple. Uh, so, making up words over here. Meal prep magic, that's meal planning demystified, meal planning made easy. It's a simple uh, six days, so you get a video lesson every single day with a simple workbook, examples of batching, like I said, the staple and the dynamic grocery list, simple recipes, my sample recipes, but you guys can add your own as well. And again, the mindset work. All of my programs work in the same way to focus on adding in the good habit, not necessarily all the do nots. So do you guys have any questions before I hop off? <clears throat> I will link those above or below or wherever it turns up. I'm wearing my blanket skirt. <laughs> it's an, it's all of the fashion. Okay, I don't see any more questions. Thanks guys for joining me. Catch me over in um, Intuitive Eating for Energy. That's our free support group. If you would, um, would like free support, I'm there a lot. We have a great community going on there. 
And if you have any questions about the releasing sugar experiment, about intuitive eating, about meal prep magic, do let me know. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, Natasha Nicole Bristol. It was Thank you so much for joining me live, and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye!